Hello 90 Second Website Builder users, this is Greg Hughes with another tutorial video to help you uh, find your way around this great software program. In this video I want to talk about linking and there's different kinds of links or hyperlinks you can create with 90 Second Website Builder and so let's dive into that subject now. Before we do let me show you around this demo website uh, so you see what's going on. I'm going to move the camera so you can see my site structure and the site manager. Basically, I've just made a simple three-page website for the sake of this video. Uh, it's a website that has an index page and then a products page. And then under the products page, an, another page called another page, um, which is a child of the products page. And if you're not familiar with the difference between parent and child pages, it's very simple. 90 Second allows you to structure your website files in this hierarchy. You can have parent pages and then you can have sub pages or child pages and um, the reason for this is uh, it, you would use it with um, menu bar navigation that's in another video that's already on the site so I won't go into that here but I want you to see what I'm doing so that when we start to make links you kinda know where we're going around this website so it's a three page website and we're gonna talk about links also let me mention that when you make a link in 90 second website builder it's very easy to do you just have to know what kind of link you want to make. And you can make links out of just about every object. Certainly every image can be turned into a link. For example, if I double click on an image like this, I can always turn this image into a link. So when people click on it, it will take them to wherever I want to take them. But you can also make links out of, of course, any text. And that's what we're going to do in this demo. So I'm going to double click on this text box and I'm just going to select this portion of the text. I've just dragged my mouse over that because this is the part that I want to make the link for. So I've selected the text. I have a couple of options. I can do a control K or what I like to do is just right click right here and go to link. There's also a menu item that uh, shows that little icon that I could have clicked on up here. Uh, that would have also done the same thing. So in my case, I just like to right click. So I'm going to right click and go to link. And here we can start to design the link that we want to associate with that particular selected text. Now let's talk about the different kinds of links. The first ones are pretty obvious. The first one at the top of the list is, of course, a website. If I wanted to link that text to a website, I'd simply type the web address into this field right here. Unfortunately, uh, 90 Second Website Builder remembers the ones you've typed in before, so you might be able to pull down like this and just go right to it. So that's all I'd have to do. I'd click OK, and now this link, if I tested it, would take us to the website I just told it to. I'm going to click F5 to show you what I mean. Clicking F5 gives us a preview, of course, of the website. And so now if I were to click this link, it would take us to the website that I just told it to. Okay, simple enough. That's about as easy as things get. I mean, if you want to be able to make a hyperlink to an exterior website, that's how you would do that. So let's look at some other kinds of links. So that's to an, a website. But of course, you'll also be making links to internal web pages. Those are web pages that are within the project you're working on. And to do that, you select internal web page, and then you go and select the page you want to link to. So in this case, you just hit the select button, and you can see I have three pages, the one I'm working on, and then a page I've called products, and then another page I've called another page. So if I wanted to link to the products page, I would simply select it, click OK, and click OK again, and that's it. And now this text link, when clicked, would take us to the products page within my, uh, my website project. So let's do that again. That covers two kinds of links, the most common ones. So we've looked at linking to an external website, an internal web page. Here's what's called a mail to link, an email address. That means I can cause this link to bring up my user's email client, for example, Outlook or whatever they might be using, to send an email to wherever I want. So if I wanted to create a link that allowed somebody to send an email to support at 90secondwebsitebuilder.com, this is what it would look like. I would select email address, I would type in the email address in this format, mail to colon and then the email address and click OK. And now if we were to test this, let's test it real quick with an F5 and I'll show you what happens. This time when the user clicks on this link it brings up their mail program. Watch. So as you can see they'd be able to send an email. Pretty simple stuff. So let's close that out 
and let's shut down the preview and go back to our design area. Here I am out on the canvas. And let's look at some more links. So, website, internal, email. Here's one that you may not know about. And this is where 90 Second Website Builder is really, really practical. Your link can also be linked to a file that you've stored on your web hosting account. Now, why would you do that? Well, for example, if you're selling an ebook or a piece of software or you want your visitors to be able to access a zip file or a PDF or an EXE, this is where how you would make that download link. So let's say you've purchased your sold you've sold a product, your customer has paid for it, and now they've come to the thank you page, and you might have a link that says download our product here, and you want them to download a file. Well, this is how you would make that download link. We would select file, and then we would need to tell 90 Second Website Builder the name of that file. And here's how we would do that. We need to browse to that file. So I've made one as an example called my ebook, which is a zip folder. And I would click here. And I've told 90 Second Website Builder now by doing this to include this file right here within my site structure. So that when people click on the learn more link, they're going to actually be able to download this file called myebook.zip. Now, that file, if it already exists on my server, that's fine. But if it doesn't, 90 Second Website Builder will upload it the next time we publish because we just basically told it make sure you include this file in the site structure. So now basically you've made a download link in just a couple of clicks because all I've done to review is I've said link to a file and I told it which file and I've clicked OK and that's it. I've made my download link. And again, if you haven't uploaded the file yet, 90 Second will be sure to upload it for you when you go to publish. That's a common question we get, and so I want to make sure we're really clear on how that works. Let's look at another type of link you can make. And this is also something you may not be aware of. So again, we've looked at website links, internal, email, and file, and now we've got this thing called a smart link. Well, what's a smart link? A smart link is a way of making your link do smart things like navigation, so to speak. In this case, if I leave it here, my link will now take the, the user to the nearest parent page if they're not already on one. But there are some other options. I can also have the link take them to the nearest child page. Remember, you can have pages that are under pages, and they're called child pages. This would cause the link to take them to the next page in the order of my site manager. So I have a certain number of pages. So if I had several pages, this link would now take them to the next page. Then there's a previous page. And of course, this would cause them to go back to wherever they came from when they clicked the link. There's also close the current browser, which would be handy sometimes. Here's a great one. This smart link allows people to click your link and print the current page. This might be useful for, say, a receipt or important information you want them to have a hard copy of. You would simply choose the smart link feature and print the current page. This is also another one. You might have a a link on your site that says click here to refresh the page, refresh the, refresh the browser. That's what this does. It reloads the page. So these smart links are just quick ways to make buttons that help your user navigate and use their browser. And that's it. One, two, three, four, five different ways to link. But let me show you one other thing. And it has to do with the internal web page link. As I showed you before, if I was going to link to an internal web page and I was going to select a page to link to. There's one other thing that I can do, and it's called a bookmark. Well, what's a bookmark? Well, let's go make a bookmark so I can show you how to use one. I'm going to go up here to my products page. As you can see, here are the three pages on my website in the design mode of 90 second. I'm going to click on here so that we can edit the products page. What I'm going to do is get the bookmark tool right here, and I'm going to place a bookmark right here. Now, what's a bookmark? Well, a bookmark, or sometimes called an anchor, allows me to put a little flag, literally a picture of a little flag, to sort of put a marker on a website of where I might want to take my user. So now my link not only would take them to the products page, but if I take them to the bookmark on that products page, my user will actually go directly to that portion of the page. So bookmarks are often used at the lower portion, maybe a very long website. 
if I wanted somebody to click on a link that takes them to a very specific part of the page, I would use a bookmark. And here's how. If I double click on it, I can name the bookmark whatever I want to call it. Let's call it my bookmark. And so that's what this bookmark is called. But please note that this little flag does not show in your design. This is just something you see when you're editing your website. If I click F5 right now and preview this page, you'll notice that we do not see the bookmark flag. It's completely invisible. It's only for programming purposes. So because I have this bookmark here though, it is an anchor where I can send people from any other place on the website to this specific part of the page. So let's go back to the index page now. So I can show you our link. Here's how we would do that. I select the text, I right click, link, and this time I'm going to an internal web page. That page is going to be called products. But the bookmark I want to send them to on that page appears in the window now called my bookmark and I'm done. So now my link wouldn't just take them to the products page, it would take them to a very specific part of the products page. And that's how you use a bookmark. So again, you can create links with text and images and shapes. Remember, double click on just about anything in 90 Second Website Builder and you'll bring up its properties box. Here I just double clicked on a shape. This gray box is just a shape, but it also can be a link and you'll always see these same features in just about every object. So that's how easy it is to make links with 90 Second Website Builder.